Hey everybody and welcome back to White Rabbit VR. Today we got something special uh, that just came in the mail. It is my Pico Neo 3 Link. Uh, so if you haven't seen the previous video where I introduced the Pico Neo 3 Link, definitely watch that one where I go through all of the specs compared to the Quest 2, which is its main competitor. Okay, so future Grant here. Yesterday, playing with the Pico Neo, after recording a bunch of video, I realized uh, once I got it into my editing program, DaVinci, there was some issues. Okay, so what it looks like is as the recording goes on, there's a lot of dropped frames. If it was just the game, I would have different suspicions, but however, it looks like it's the game as well as the video recording down in the bottom left, which makes me think that my whole system is slowing down and lagging, which is really weird. I don't know how that can happen unless the Pico Neo Link app is using a lot of resources. I'm gonna have to figure this out. So today, what I'm doing, where you know, we're the next day ahead here. I'm, I'm gonna hop in and I'm gonna try and get some specs of what's going on with my computer and see if I can recreate this issue and, and see if this is a wireless link set, uh, Wi-Fi thing. If this is um, my PC or if it has anything to do with the Pico Neo or if it's the Neo Link app that's slowing things down. Hmm. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, I'm gonna try and get to the bottom of it. Let's run some tests. Okay, so I just finished a match and jury is still out on this because I wanna test out one more thing. But here's what was happening yesterday. I'm just gonna press play here. You can see a lot of stuttery jitteriness happening here. And if I go forward more, you can see it's happening more. And then by the end here, even though our frame rate up here is at 60, you can see we're actually only capturing um, off of OBS about one frame a second, maybe two or three, but still not 60. This is using the Pico Neo, Wi-Fi 6, everything on the network is fine. And then that's about an hour of play. And then today I did over an hour of play and we can see here still perfectly silky smooth, no jittering. This is on the Quest 2. What I'm gonna do now is I literally just finished this match. I'm sure you can see the sweat and, uh, and VR red ring around my eyes. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off my Quest. I'm not gonna change anything on my PC. I'm gonna turn off my Quest, turn on my Pico Neo, load up onward and play for a bit and see what happens. I already know what's gonna happen, but let's test it out anyways. Hey everybody, okay, so I just stopped playing uh, on the Pico Neo. I, I played for quite a while like two hours, just to be sure. And uh, it did it again. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna go full screen on DaVinci here. Here we look pretty good. Uh, CPU, network, disc, everything seems to be fine here. I've got an M.2, like really good solid state. We seem to be okay frames here, not great. Definitely gone down since the beginning of the video. Yeah, we're really starting to drop frames here, obviously. CPU still is fine. Really starting to drop frames heavily here, but nothing, I don't see a big change in anything. Let's do a check here. I'm just gonna put a break in here. So disk is running about 10 to 12 megabytes a second. 10 to 12 megabytes a second. Network is around 100 megabytes per second. Network is fine. GPU goes up like a degree. It's already being used a lot. It's, it's fine. I've got like 17 fans in my PC, it's fine. And then water-cooled Ryzen 9 5900X, CPU's fine. Network, normal, got a spike in memory, but that's probably normal too. I wouldn't expect that to be an issue. Plus this is where I'm running smoothly. Physical memory, everything seems fine to me. I don't know. Okay, so onward goes from CPU seven to 10, OBS. <laughs> Everything looks fine to me. I don't know what the issue is. I really don't. And then say here, we're getting a frame a second. I don't know, y'all. There's something about the Pico Neo that is messing stuff up. 
Hopefully somebody out there can maybe give an explanation of this or, or maybe steer me in the right direction as to how to figure out what it is that's causing this. I've got a NVIDIA RTX 3090, AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, water cooled, temperatures are low, lots of airflow. There's nothing happening with this, the, the PC that would cause this other than maybe the application. We've already ruled out the fact that the Quest 2 seamless runs perfectly fine ran it for some nine minutes about 10 minutes let's say to really shit the bed the weird thing is is when i keep peeking and looking at my obs it looks fine i don't see any stuttering or or no source of loss in in, in uh, play speed it's just when i load it up in here something is messed up makes this even weirder i don't know i don't know what the problem is but i can tell you if you are a content creator and you want to pick up a headset today and you want to connect it via wireless to your pc and record using pc vr this does not happen when streaming to the pc what a weird weird scenario Okay, so final results. With the Neo 3 Link, display port connected, there is no issues with recording. It seems like the only time we get issues with recording is when we are connected, PC VR streaming to the headset over Wi-Fi 6. There is something happening, I can't figure out what, that is causing OBS, at least OBS, to um, skip frames in the recording so something is is happening that's that's causing this issue and it only happens when we are recording over wi-fi 6 um but th this is the weird part th this is what i don't get it's playing on the pc it it's got to be the neo link app sending the data to the headset that's causing some sort of of issue on the pc everything seems to be fine it doesn't look like there's a over uh like huge amounts of data that are parsing or it doesn't look like there's huge amounts of data that are causing this issue but something is is making this happen so anybody out there with the neo 3 that wants to do content creation it looks like at least at the time this video is made that you're gonna have to do that with the display port connected or if you're paying or if you're playing content that is on the headset and you're just streaming that data to your pc over wi-fi 6 and recording it there no problem uh, and at least if you're doing so through the browser, same way that you would with your Quest 2. So yeah, no issues in, in that regards and no issues with DisplayPort. So yeah, no issues with streaming to the PC and recording it there. No issues streaming from PC to the Neolink headset using DisplayPort, but major issues with recording and playing um, PC VR to the headset on Wi-Fi 6. There's no issues uh, as far as gameplay. When I'm playing it, it looks fine. There's no issues that it looks like uh, uh, on OBS while I'm playing it. If I just kind of have a peek and move my headset around, everything looks fine but in the recording it is definitely dropping frames this only happens with the neo link so um everything with the quest 2 is fine if you plan on doing streaming content creation video recordings i would go with the quest 2 for now until somebody figures out what this problem is uh, i tried searching to see if anybody else is having this problem either nobody has this problem because this is my headset or my pc or nobody's doing this quite yet or tested it this way yet uh, so that there's there's no no issue um, it seems to be fine for maybe about five to ten minutes sometimes up to 20 minutes but then at some point um things start going wrong i can only assume this is from the neo 3 link App. So there you have it everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know what more to tell you other than uh, it's a great headset. It's just uh, not working great in this particular case right now. So thanks for watching and don't forget to follow the white rabbit.